Problem 17. Bella begins to walk from her house towards her friend Ella's house. So let's say we have this diagram right here. At the same time, so she's going this way and Ella's going this way. At the same time, Ella begins to ride her bicycle towards Bella's house. They each maintain a constant speed in Ella, so Ella rides five times as fast as Bella walks. So let's say Bella is has a um, you know rate of x. So that must be five x, right? The distance between the houses is two miles, which is ten thousand five hundred sixty feet. So this entire distance is one five or sorry one zero one zero five six zero feet. So Bella covers two and a half feet, so two point five feet per step. And we are trying to find how many steps will Bella take by the time she reaches Ella. So we don't know, right, the total number of distance each person has to walk. But let's say, you know, they meet somewhere right here. Now, think about the distance here. The distance is equal to the, the velocity times the time that you did to travel that distance. So in other words, um, we can find, we're given the rate, but we don't know the t. So let's just assume, right, this distance dB, right, is equal to her velocity of x times the time of Bella. Now, this distance for Ella is equal to what? It's equal to 5x, that's her um, velocity, times the time for Ella. Now, think of it like this, right? If I were to walk from here to here, and simultaneously she walks here to here and we meet each other, what is true about the time? Well, the time it takes for us to meet each other is the same, right? It's just that we travel different distances to get to that meeting point. That's the only thing that changes. But the time it took for us to for us to meet each other is the same. Why? Because the time it took, right? The time it took is equal to the t final minus the t initial. The t initial is the same because we departed at the exact same time. The t final is the exact same because we met at the same location. So that means that tf minus ti is the same for both. So in other words, we can say that tb is equal to te. If that's the case, then that means we can substitute this into tb. What else do we know? Well, we also know that right x and 5x, what is the difference here? Well, x times tb, right, compared to, so db, right, is x times tb. But then for de, right, is 5 times x times tb. That means that the distance, so, so if we substitute, right, if we substitute xtb into db, de is equal to 5 times db. So in other words, de, right, is equal to, is, she traveled 5 times the distance that Bella took. So that means de must be equal to 5 over 6 of the total distance, right? And the same thing can be said for, for um, Bella. Bella traveled 1 6 of the total distance. But the total distance is given to us to be 10,560, and we're trying to find the number of steps that Bella took. So we only care about the distance that Bella made, so we had to only consider 1 over 6 times the total distance. So what is 1 over 6 times 10,560 feet? That will give us the amount of distance that Bella traveled. But the interpretation of this is, is that, you know, this is 1 over 6 times that. But we also know, right, she travels 2.5 feet per step. So if this, is, if this is the amount of feet that she traveled, then we also know that for every 1 feet, she, or, or rather, uh, 2.5 feet per step. So it's 1 step, right, per 2.5 feet. Or, or how, how did I go? Yeah, 2.5 feet per step. So one step per 2.5 feet. So now if we the units and units cancel, all we're left with is the number of steps she took. So we just have to evaluate 1 over 6 times 10,560 divided by 2.5. What is this? Well, that's uh, 10,560, right, divided by 6, 1, 6, 45, uh, 7, 42, 36, 6, 0. 7, 1, 7, 6, 0 divided by 2.5. Well, 2.5, right, we can multiply 0 here and we get 25. So then we divide by 5, that's 5, and then that becomes... Uh, 720 and divide this again 3720 divided by 5 35 we get 2244 744 steps should have been taken and did I do my math wrong um here is that uh 2020 okay I, I did I did something I did it wrong um let's go back 1645 42 36 6 okay that's correct so 1760 divided by 2.5 divide by 5 and everything right uh that's uh, right. One seven six zero divided by five, so three fifteen uh, twenty six five two three five two divided by zero point five, right? Zero point five. Yeah, divide by five. Zero point one divided by five. Uh, seven 
0 0.4 divided by 0 0.1 multiply 10 on numerator and denominator, I get 704. Right, that's that's the correct answer. So 704, that's answer choice A. Sorry for the, sorry for the error, guys.